How's it going everyone? My name is Chris and today we're going to be looking at this new soldering station from Weller. This one specifically is the WE1010 and it is a 70 watt soldering station. It includes everything that you see on the front of the box including the power station with a nice graphic LCD display, this soldering iron that you can easily replace the soldering tip from, and a safety rest so that way you don't accidentally burn down your house. We're going to go ahead and get this guy out of the box, get it assembled, and we're going to solder something to show you how it works. The temperature range on the WE1010 is 100 degrees to 450 degrees Celsius, or if you're in the United States or anywhere else that uses Fahrenheit, that's 200 degrees to 850 degrees Fahrenheit. It has about a 30 second heating time to go from 50 degrees to 350 degrees Celsius, or 120 degrees to 660 degrees Fahrenheit. It does require an input of 120 volts. As stated before, it does come with a one channel soldering station with a soldering iron and the safety rest. The actual soldering iron does come with an ergonomic handle to make it easy and comfortable to solder. It also has a toolless tip change, so you don't need to have an extra screwdriver to change it out like the other Weller series. The entire station is ESD safe and also features a heat and iron resistant silicone cable for safe handling. And two of the features that we really like about the WE1010 is that it does have a standby mode and auto setback, which conserves energy and protects the equipment. Though you do want to make sure that you change that because the factory settings are set somewhere between 5 minutes and 10 minutes, and you don't want to accidentally have it turn off when you're right in the middle of a project. Lastly, the entire system can be password protected to preserve your settings, and to make sure if you have a little kiddo running around, they won't accidentally hurt themselves. The last thing that we want to make sure that you are all aware of before making a purchase of the WE1010 is that it does use a proprietary style of soldering tip, and that is the ET series, or Echo Tango. Luckily, we are carrying three different solder tips of that series in our catalog, and that is the screwdriver, the single flat, and the conical. That way, regardless of whatever your soldering needs may be, you're covered. So, if you're looking for a good mid-range soldering station that won't break the bank, make sure to pick up the WE1010 from Weller. Seventy. How do I want to say that? Typical uh, type. Seventy watt power. Something fell out of that one. Also, carry, carry, curry, curry. A seventy watt solder. 